Doosh, doosh, doosh. Aloha everybody, King Kapuka Kapono here. A company has recently noticed my constant struggle to keep my fishing gear organized in my backpack. And they have kindly sent me what is a, uh, seems like one of the higher grade fishing bags on the market right now. It's called the Times 9 Fisk Bag. So the company Times 9, the bag, the Fisk Bag. Just got it in the mail a couple days ago and I wanted to open it up on camera, get a first look at how it is and uh, kind of get an idea of what it looks like and how it functions prior to me actually beginning to use it. And then in the future, after I've used it for a bit, I'll actually do a full review of the product. But for now, just jump into here and see exactly what we got going on. My giant knife, hopefully I'm not gonna cut anything important. Oh, oh, it's bigger than I thought it feels so. Oh, okay. I saw photos of this and it looks pretty sweet. The concept is that you can hold both your fishing pole and your gear. Basically, it'll hold your fishing pole while you're working with your hands. So you can like stick it in this little holder part. It'll like kind of hang there and you can like use these little magnets on it to like hold all your gear. So the concept is pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Feels like it weighs maybe like a pound and a half. Let's see what this thing says three pounds shipping paid, so probably weighs about two or three pounds. A little extra to be safe on the shipping. Oh, all right. Oh, this is solid canvas. Not like some bags I've had that are just like super delicate feeling. This thing feels pretty solid to begin with. So again, times nine company making Fisk bag. That even feels good. I'll throw a link in the description if you want to check this product out as well. But, oh, oh man, it's already like too well set up. This is the magnet you can hold things with. This is the portion that allows you to hold your rod. Let me actually read a little bit and I can get this set up in a way that hopefully I can get a quick little look at how it works. Okay, it comes with two straps. The waist strap and the shoulder strap, I'm gonna presume, is on the inside of the bag. Oh, cool little magnet clasps. That is really cool. Super easy. The whole concept of this, again, is just ease of access while you're fishing. Oh, this is cool, so you can stick your flies onto this. Wow. Stick your hooks, stick your lures. Bunch of different compartments. Let's see what this guy is. Adjusting your bag, when you see a bag is set up to be worn on the right side of your body with the shoulder strap crossing the left shoulder. To switch the size, reverse the shoulder and waist straps. Okay, pretty easy. Enjoy the bag. Thank you, Mr. Cook. All right, well, let's get into here. Okay, shoulder. Pad's made out of a pretty soft plastic, so it's not like super stiff. I don't think it's gonna dig into me at all. I have like so much weight in my fishing gear, honestly. So that was one of the things I was worried about. Three compartments in the middle part. Looks like there's this one. Oh, here's a little bit of extra stuff they're talking about. Probably put some of the easier to fly away gear in there. And then you have this one, stick your tackle box in, and then a little smaller one if you have a little smaller tackle box. And then on the front side is another, what, one or two bags? This is an interesting little, oh, that's cool. So you can access different sides of the bag depending on where you have your gear stored. Another little one, I can put another couple tackle boxes. Probably my leads in this front one, if I'm honest. I do like this idea of having, oh, it's on my left side. No, I think it's on the right side. Just choose the side you're looking at. Again, this whole thing is designed so that you're out in the water when you're using it. Oh, sweet, it's got these little side ones too. Perfect. I really love these little clippies. These are killer. Click bottom, couple little hang straps, the back of it, normal little hand strap holder. That feels really good, that's strong. Yeah, and then it's got the different clips so you can take off, put it on, because that goes around your waist. And then the shoulder one. Let me try to throw this thing on. Waist strap goes around the shoulder, it hangs on your left side like so. Oh, it hangs under your right arm, okay and then you can throw it onto your back when you're not using it. 
Okay. So actually, this little bottom part that I was talking about is what portion that's helping for the rod holders. I'm basically gonna use this for whipping because I can be walking around and like just toss my whip onto this and change stuff up without having to drop it into the sand like I've done so many times. So you put the whip in. It's made for, it looks like fly fishing poles, but this will work fine for a whip. And then you can use a little clip onto the rod portion. That's what holds it for you. And then the magnet will hold all your little different pieces of tackle, which is super cool. Try to throw this thing on real fast. I'm actually stoked to get my backpack all cleaned out and put it into this because that thing is back to like code red garbage and messiness in there. I feel kind of dumb because I got to keep looking at this, but I'll figure it out. One speed. Okay, the guy's looking like this. Goes over his shoulder like so. Okay, hangs over left shoulder. Then you got these clips here. Pop that open. Goes around your waist. I'm gonna have to adjust these straps a little bit so it fits me properly. Let me do that real fast. Boom, all right, that was pretty easy. Six, this is pretty cool. Again, when you're walking, let me hold this kind of out here so you guys can get an idea of what I mean. Walking around, you keep it on your back like this. Hangs out like that. Got this little quick hasp if you wanna release it. Put it on, boom, hangs over your shoulder. Concept being, you know, fishing, hanging out, just cruises on your shoulder, and then when you wanna work stuff, it just spins around to the front, and you got access to everything you need right there. Boom, boom. Pull, throw it on there. So let me go out into the front and grab a pole and see how that works. Okay, got my pole. I'm gonna see how this, uh clipping system works here. So the bottom part, you throw the pole holder in, and then it clips onto the rod. Oh yeah, it's pretty sick, it works. Huh, check that out. Okay, so uh, hands free, it just clips into there like that, and then it can hold your rod while you're, you know, changing out your line fixing some dangles, whatever it is. So again, the bottom part here, your buddy or pole goes through this little loop and then it clips on right here with the use of this little clip. The clip, a little tight on this rod, but it, you know, it's fine, it fits pretty well. And you got a little magnet here so you can stick your uh, swivels, hooks, whatever you got, it'll stick there and then you got easy access. You can just work with everything with both hands. So instead of trying to balance your whip on the rocks or set it down or anything, you can just throw it onto there. And it carries it just freehand if you're walking around, which is also really sick. Now I can use it as like a detector at night when I'm wandering around on a new moon to shake it back and forth and stumble around. Don't even need a headlamp anymore, so I guess it also triples as a headlamp detector, yeah? <laughs> okay, well, this is sweet. I'm super stoked on this. If you wanted to see this product, Again, I'm gonna throw a link into it. Huge mahalo to Times9 for sending this over. The Fisk bag. Feels real durable. So I'm expecting this is gonna last me a long time. Really stoked on the getting this thing out there and actually trying it. Be interesting in the waves. I imagine I'll be a little wet, but it's water resistant, the components of it is. So as long as I don't let it just splash one speed inside, It'll be cherry. But that's why, that's why you keep it on your back for the most part and just face plant the waves or whatever you're doing. All right, I'm gonna go fill this up with some tackle and clean my other bag. That's gonna take me a good while. And then I'm gonna start using this thing and then I'll produce a video in the future, kind of giving a full review on how this thing actually works out here in Hawaii on the water, walking around, getting smacked by sand, you know, whole deal. Huge mahalo, times nine again sending the fist bag over. If anybody's interested in this bag, wanna check it out, I'll throw a link in the description of the video. Other than that, huge mahalo for watching everybody. Until the next one, doosh, 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 doosh.